Hi and welcome to Point of Care Ultrasound Geek. My name is Jared Marks. In previous videos I haven't talked much about assessing sizes of the chambers. However, this is one of the binary questions that we can have when we look at cardiac ultrasound. And what we want to do is use visualization of the different chambers and compare that to determine if something's enlarged or dilated. Some have referred to this as the rule of thirds. And what we're going to do is compare the different chambers in size to determine if one of them is dilated. One of our rule of thirds is looking in the parasternal long axis at the right ventricular outflow tract, the aortic root, and left atrium. Together, the three of them form a hole that we're going to consider. And each one of them should take up about a third of the base of the heart. If any of them appear enlarged or dilated compared to the others, that should raise concern about pathology that may be associated with that dilatation. And we can easily see when we take those markers off that each one of them should be about a third of the size of that base of the heart. Another rule of thirds that we have is to determine the size of the ventricles. When we look at the right ventricle, we take its size, that should be about two thirds size of the LV. If it's not, that would be concerning for dilatation or enlargement of the right ventricle. Our last rule of thirds has to do with the length of the heart. When we look at this, we're going to break that up, the atrium and the right and the ventricles. And the atria should be about a third compared to two thirds of that hole for the ventricle. Any enlargement of that, any difference of that is concerning for enlargement. When you look at the left ventricle, same thing. That should be about a third compared to two-thirds of the left ventricle, the entire length of the heart and the apical view. Now we can look at the sub view and compare the right ventricle somewhat to the left ventricle. It's not as good as the apical view, but if we were to look in this view and see a right ventricle that is greater than two-thirds the size of the left ventricle, we'd want to be concerned that there's enlargement once again. Now this can be, can underestimate the size of the right ventricle at times simply due to the fact that you may not be exactly in plane where you need to and the right ventricle does not have as strong of appearance in the sub view compared to other the apical view. Once again however we can look at the entire length and this should be about a third of the whole of the length and the ventricle should be two-thirds. If the atria is enlarged, then it will take up more than that third of the hole that we should be giving it, and that would be a concern for enlargement, whether that be the right atrium or the left atrium when compared to the ventricles. If you have any questions about this video or any other point-of-care ultrasound-related questions, feel free to email me at pocusgeek at gmail.com, or you can Make a comment below and I'll try to respond there. Have a great day.